In mathematics, the geometric mean is a mean or average, which indicates the central tendency or typical value of a set of numbers by using the product of their values as opposed to the arithmetic mean which uses their sum. The geometric mean is defined as the nth root of the product of n numbers, i.e., for a set of numbers x1, x2, xn, the geometric mean is defined as i equals 1 n x i 1 n equals x 1 x 2 x n n display style left prod underscore i equals 1 caret n x underscore i right caret frac 1 n equals sqrt n x underscore 1 x underscore 2 c dots x underscore n for instance the geometric mean of two numbers say 2 and 8 is just the square root of their product that is 2 8 equals 4 display style sqrt 2 c dot 8 equals 4 as another example the geometric mean of the three numbers 4 1 and 1 30 second is the cube root of their product 1 8 which is 1 half that is 4 1 1 32 3 equals 1 2 Display style sqrt 3 4 c dot 1 c dot 1 30 second equals 1 half. A geometric mean is often used when comparing different items, finding a single figure of merit for these items, when each item has multiple properties that have different numeric ranges. For example, the geometric mean can give a meaningful value to compare two companies which are each rated at 0 to 5 for their environmental sustainability and are rated at 0 to 100 for their financial viability. If an arithmetic mean were used instead of a geometric mean, the financial viability would have greater weight because its numeric range is larger. That is, a small percentage change in the financial rating e.g. going from 80 to 90 makes a much larger difference in the arithmetic mean than a large percentage change in environmental sustainability e.g. going from 2 to 5. The use of a geometric mean normalizes the differently ranged values, meaning a given percentage change in any of the properties has the same effect on the geometric mean. So, a 20% change in environmental sustainability from 4 to 4.8 has the same effect on the geometric mean as a 20% change in financial viability from 60 to 72. The geometric mean can be understood in terms of geometry. The geometric mean of two numbers a display style a and b display style b is the length of one side of a square whose area is equal to the area of a rectangle with sides of lengths display style and b display style b similarly the geometric mean of three numbers a display style a b display style b and c display style c is the length of one edge of a cube whose volume is the same as that of a cuboid with sides whose lengths are equal to the three given numbers the geometric mean applies only to positive numbers it is also often used for a set of numbers whose values are meant to be multiplied together or are exponential in nature, such as data on the growth of the human population or interest rates of a financial investment. The geometric mean is also one of the three classical Pythagorean means, together with the aforementioned arithmetic mean and the harmonic mean. For all positive data sets containing at least one pair of unequal values, the harmonic mean is always the least of the three means, while the arithmetic mean is always the greatest of the three and the geometric mean is always in between see inequality of arithmetic and geometric means. Calculation The geometric mean of a data set a 1 2 a n text style left a underscore 1 a underscore 2 l dots a underscore n right is given by i equals 1 n a i 1 n equals a 1 a 2 a n n Display style left prod underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i right carrot frac one n equals sqrt n a underscore one a underscore two c dots are underscore n. 
The above figure uses capital pi notation to show a series of multiplications. Each side of the equal sign shows that a set of values is multiplied in succession the number of values is represented by n to give a total product of the set, and then the nth root of the total product is taken to give the geometric mean of the original set. For example, in a set of four numbers 1 2 3 4 text style 1 2 3 4 the product of 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 text style 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 is 24 text style 24 and the geometric mean is the fourth root of 24 or approximately 2.213 the exponent 1 n text style frac 1 n on the left side is equivalent to the taking nth root for example 24 1 4 equals 24 4 text style 24 caret frac 1 4 equals sqrt 4 24 the geometric mean of a data set is less than the data set's arithmetic mean unless all members of the data set are equal, in which case the geometric and arithmetic means are equal. This allows the definition of the arithmetic geometric mean, an intersection of the two which always lies in between. The geometric mean is also the arithmetic harmonic mean in the sense that if two sequences a n text style underscore n and h n Text style H underscore N are defined A N plus one equals A N plus H N two a zero equals X Display style are underscore n plus one equals frac are underscore n plus h underscore n two quarter underscore zero equals x and h n plus one equals two one a n plus one h n h zero equals y display style h underscore n plus 1 equals frac 2 frac 1 a underscore n plus frac 1 h underscore n quad h underscore 0 equals y where h n plus 1 text style h underscore n plus 1 is the harmonic mean of the previous values of the two sequences then a n Text style underscore n and h n text style h underscore n will converge to the geometric mean of x text style x and y text style y. This can be seen easily from the fact that the sequences do converge to a common limit, which can be shown by bolzano weierstrass theorem, and the fact that geometric mean is preserved. I H I equals A I plus H I A I plus H I H I A I equals A I plus H I one A I plus one H I equals A I plus one H I plus one Display style SQRT are underscore I H underscore I equals SQRT frac are underscore I plus H underscore I frac are underscore I plus H underscore I H underscore I A underscore I equals SQRT frac are underscore I plus H underscore I frac one are underscore I plus frac one H underscore I equals SQRT are underscore I plus one H underscore I plus one 
replacing the arithmetic and harmonic mean by a pair of generalized means of opposite, finite exponents yields the same result. Topic. Relationship with logarithms The geometric mean can also be expressed as the exponential of the arithmetic mean of logarithms. By using logarithmic identities to transform the formula, the multiplications can be expressed as a sum and the power as a multiplication. When a 1 a 2 a n greater than 0 Display style are underscore one are underscore two dots are underscore n greater than zero i equals one n a i one n equals exp one n i equals one n lane a i Display style left prod underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i right carrot frac one n equals exp left frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n lane underscore i right if a j zero display style exists a underscore j then i equals one n a i one n equals minus one m e x p one n i equals one n lane a i display style left prod underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i right carrot frac one n equals left minus one right carrot m e x p left frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n lane left a underscore i right right where m is the number of negative numbers this is sometimes called the log average not to be confused with the logarithmic average it is simply computing the arithmetic mean of the logarithm transform values of ai display style underscore i ie the arithmetic mean on the log scale and then using the exponentiation to return the computation to the original scale ie it is the generalized f mean with f x equals log x display style f x equals log x for example the geometric mean of 2 and 8 can be calculated as the following where B display style B is any base of a logarithm commonly 2 E display style E or 10 B 1 2 log B 2 plus log B 8 equals 4 Display style b carrot frac one two left log underscore b two plus log underscore b eight right equals four. Related to the above, it can be seen that for a given sample of points a one a n display style underscore one l dots are underscore n. The geometric mean is the minimizer of f a equals i equals N log A I minus log a two display style f a equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n log a underscore i log a carrot two, whereas the arithmetic mean is the minimizer of f a equals i equals one n a I minus a two display style f a equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i a carrot two. Thus, the geometric mean provides a summary of the samples whose exponent best matches the exponents of the samples in the least squares sense. The log form of the geometric mean is generally the preferred alternative for implementation in computer languages because calculating the product of many numbers can lead to an arithmetic overflow or arithmetic underflow. This is less likely to occur with the sum of the logarithms for each number. Topic: <laughs> Relationship with arithmetic mean and mean preserving spread. If a set of non-identical numbers is subjected to a mean preserving spread, that is two or more elements of the set are spread apart from each other while leaving the arithmetic mean unchanged, then the geometric mean always decreases. Topic. Computation in constant time 
In cases where the geometric mean is being used to determine the average growth rate of some quantity, and the initial and final values are 0 and a n of that quantity are known, the product of the measured growth rate at every step need not be taken, if the values are a 0 a n Display style are underscore zero l dots are underscore n. Then the growth rate between measurement a k display style are underscore k and a k plus one display style are underscore k plus one is a k plus one a k Display style underscore k plus one are underscore k. The geometric mean of these growth rates is then just a one a zero a two a one a n a n minus one one n equals a N A zero one N Display style left frac are underscore one are underscore zero frac are underscore two are underscore one C dots frac are underscore N A underscore N one right carrot frac one N equals left frac are underscore N A underscore zero right carrot frac one N where N Display style N is the number of steps from the initial to final state. Topic. Properties The fundamental property of the geometric mean, which can be proven to be false for any other mean, is gm x i y i equals gm x i gm y i Display style operator name gm left frac x underscore i y underscore i right equals frac operator name gm x underscore i operator name gm y underscore i. This makes the geometric mean the only correct mean when averaging normalized results, that is, results that are presented as ratios to reference values. This is the case when presenting computer performance with respect to a reference computer, or when computing a single average index from several heterogeneous sources, for example, life expectancy, education years, and infant mortality. In this scenario, using the arithmetic or harmonic mean would change the ranking of the results depending on what is used as a reference. For example, take the following comparison of execution time of computer programs. The arithmetic and geometric means agree that computer C is the fastest. However, by presenting appropriately normalized values and using the arithmetic mean, we can show either of the other two computers to be the fastest. Normalizing by A's result gives A as the fastest computer according to the arithmetic mean while normalizing by B's result gives B as the fastest computer according to the arithmetic mean but A as the fastest according to the harmonic mean, and normalizing by C's result gives C as the fastest computer according to the arithmetic mean but A as the fastest according to the harmonic mean. In all cases, the ranking given by the geometric mean stays the same as the one obtained with unnormalized values. However, this reasoning has been questioned. Giving consistent results is not always equal to giving the correct results. In general, it is more rigorous to assign weights to each of the programs, calculate the average weighted execution time using the arithmetic mean, and then normalize that result to one of the computers. The three tables above just give a different weight to each of the programs, explaining the inconsistent results of the arithmetic and harmonic means. The first table gives equal weight to both programs, the second gives a weight of 1 1,000th 1 to the second program, and the third gives a weight of 1 1,100th 1 to the second program and 1 tenth to the first one. The use of the geometric mean for aggregating performance numbers should be avoided if possible, because multiplying execution times has no physical meaning, in contrast to adding times as in the arithmetic mean. Metrics that are inversely proportional to time speed up, IPC, should be averaged using the harmonic mean. The geometric mean can be derived from the generalized mean as its limit as p goes to zero. Similarly, this is possible for the weighted geometric mean. P 
Topic: Applications. Topic: Proportional growth. The geometric mean is more appropriate than the arithmetic mean for describing proportional growth, both exponential growth, constant proportional growth, and varying growth. In business, the geometric mean of growth rates is known as the compound annual growth rate (CAGR). The geometric mean of growth over periods yields the equivalent constant growth rate that would yield the same final amount. Suppose an orange tree yields 100 oranges one year and then 180, 210 and 300 the following years, so the growth is 80%, 16.6666% and 42.8571% for each year respectively. Using the arithmetic mean calculates a linear average growth of 46.5079% 80% plus 16.6666% plus 42.8571% that sum then divided by 3. However, if we start with 100 oranges and let it grow 46.5079% each year, the result is 314 oranges, not 300, so the linear average over states the year-on-year -year growth. Instead, we can use the geometric mean. Growing with 80% corresponds to multiplying with 1.80, so we take the geometric mean of 1.80, 1.166666 and 1.428571, i.e. 1.80 times 1.166666 times 1.428571 3 approximately equals 1.442249 display style sqrt 3 1.80 times 1.166666 times 1.428571 approx 1.442249 thus the average growth per year is 44.2249% if we start with 100 oranges and let the number grow with 44.2249% each year, the result is 300 oranges. Topic: <laughs> Applications in the social sciences. Although the geometric mean has been relatively rare in computing social statistics, starting from 2010 the United Nations Human Development Index did switch to this mode of calculation, on the grounds that it better reflected the non-substitutable nature of the statistics being compiled and compared. The geometric mean decreases the level of substitutability between dimensions being compared and at the same time ensures that a 1% decline in say life expectancy at birth has the same impact on the HDI as a 1% decline in education or income. Thus, as a basis for comparisons of achievements, this method is also more respectful of the intrinsic differences across the dimensions than a simple average. Not all values used to compute the HDI Human Development Index are normalized, some of them instead have the form x minus x min x norm minus x min Display style left x x underscore text min right left x underscore text norm x underscore text min right. This makes the choice of the geometric mean less obvious than one would expect from the properties section above. Topic: Aspect ratios. The geometric mean has been used in choosing a compromise aspect ratio in film and video. Given two aspect ratios, the geometric mean of them provides a compromise between them, distorting or cropping both in some sense equally. Concretely, two equal area rectangles with the same center and parallel sides of different aspect ratios intersect in a rectangle whose aspect ratio is the geometric mean, and their hull, smallest rectangle which contains both of them, likewise has aspect ratio their geometric mean. In the choice of 16 to 9 aspect ratio by the SMPTE, balancing 2.35 and 4 to 3, the geometric mean is 2.35 times 4 3 approximately equals 1.7701. Text style SQRT 2.35 times frac 4 3 approx 1.7701. And thus 16 9 equals 1.77 7 text style 16 to 9 equals 1.77 overline 7 was chosen this was discovered empirically by kerns powers who cut out rectangles with equal areas and shaped them to match each of the popular aspect ratios 
When overlapped with their center points aligned, he found that all of those aspect ratio rectangles fit within an outer rectangle with an aspect ratio of 1.77, one and all of them also covered a smaller common inner rectangle with the same aspect ratio 1.77, 1. The value found by Powers is exactly the geometric mean of the extreme aspect ratios, 4 to 3, 1 1 and Cinemascope, 2 1, which is coincidentally close to 16 9 Text style 16 to 9 1.77 7 1 Text style 1.77 overline 7 1 The intermediate ratios have no effect on the result, only the two extreme ratios. Applying the same geometric mean technique to 16 to 9 and 4 to 3 approximately yields the 14 to 9. 1.55 5 Text style 1.55 overline 5 aspect ratio, which is likewise used as a compromise between these ratios. In this case 14 to 9 is exactly the arithmetic mean of 16 9 text style 16 to 9 and 4 3 equals 12 9 text style 4 to 3 equals 12 to 9. Since 14 is the average of 16 and 12, while the precise geometric mean is 16 9 times 4 3 approximately equals 1.5396 approximately equals 13.8 9 text style sqrt frac 16 9 times frac 4 3 approx 1.5396 approx 13.8 9 but the two different means, arithmetic and geometric, are approximately equal because both numbers are sufficiently close to each other a difference of less than 2%. <laughs> Anti-reflective coatings In optical coatings, where reflection needs to be minimized between two media of refractive indices N0 and N2, the optimum refractive index N1 of the anti-reflective coating is given by the geometric mean n 1 equals n 0 n 2 display style n underscore 1 equals sqrt n underscore 0 n underscore 2 topic spectral flatness In signal processing, spectral flatness, a measure of how flat or spiky a spectrum is, is defined as the ratio of the geometric mean of the power spectrum to its arithmetic mean. Topic: <laughs> Geometry. In the case of a right triangle, its altitude is the length of a line extending perpendicularly from the hypotenuse to its 90 degrees vertex. Imagining that this line splits the hypotenuse into two segments, the geometric mean of these segment lengths is the length of the altitude. This property is known as the geometric mean theorem. In an ellipse, the semi-minor axis is the geometric mean of the maximum and minimum distances of the ellipse from a focus, it is also the geometric mean of the semi-major axis and the semi-lattice rectum. The semi-major axis of an ellipse is the geometric mean of the distance from the center to either focus and the distance from the center to either directrix. Distance to the horizon of a sphere is the geometric mean of the distance to the closest point of the sphere and the distance to the farthest point of the sphere. Both in the approximation of squaring the circle according to S.A. Ramanujan 1914, and in the construction of the heptadecagon according to Sent by T. P. Stoll, credited to Leibourne's Math. Repository, 1818. The geometric mean is employed. Topic. Financial. The geometric mean has from time to time been used to calculate financial indices the averaging is over the components of the index. For example, in the past the FT30 index used a geometric mean. It is also used in the recently introduced RPIJ measure of inflation in the United Kingdom and elsewhere in the European Union. This has the effect of understating movements in the index compared to using the arithmetic mean. Topic. Image processing The geometric mean filter is used as a noise filter in image processing. Topic. 
Topic See also Topic Notes and references Topic External links Calculation of the geometric mean of two numbers in comparison to the arithmetic solution Arithmetic and geometric means When to use the geometric mean Practical solutions for calculating geometric mean with different kinds of data Geometric mean on MathWorld Geometric meaning of the geometric mean Geometric mean calculator for larger data sets Computing congressional apportionment using geometric mean Non-Newtonian calculus website Geometric mean definition and formula